Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose. This here is Douglas Maidenford, our resident Dutchman. How are you, Douglas? Why, well, I'm just, just great. Just dandy. Yeah. All right. Well, do you have anything you want to say before we get going? No. All right, see you next time. No, uh, I thought we had a question. <laughs> yeah. No, okay, good. I got uh, all this trouble to put a nice shirt on, and I don't even, we don't want to go blow past it. Look. I put it, I'm pretty relaxed today. I got yeah. a casual Doug Maiden for it. That doesn't come out very well. You gotta get some, get some buttons, buttons on Yeah, I know. That's slack. But anyway. No Dutch well, but, 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 skips on their yeah, buttons. Come on, what's the, what's the deal? I'm a little bitter. Here. Don't buttons, be bitter. Get me, get all me right, question. all right. So today's question it comes in from Emily Burns of Virginia. We got some southern Dutchies. So the question is, do you have any of those on how to say, pronounce, different types of music in Pennsylvania Dutch. For example, classical, country, pop, etc. Or is there a specific PA Dutch music? You know, that's a kind of a good question. We did a video a while back about rap music, and if you haven't seen that, just look in the playlist. I I give my opinion on rap music. It's the I'll only opinion. I'll, yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> but Emily asked maybe about the language, like do we have, what's the Pennsylvania Dutch term for classical music and pop music? Well, we don't really, the word for music in Pennsylvania Dutch is music. So it's just like the English, and we don't really have those terms. But you know, it raises a great question. What kind of music do you like to listen to? Mmm, everything. Everything? Yeah, old blues, I like folk music, though. that's good stuff. Old bluegrass. Classical? I can listen to classical, yeah. Yeah, I listen to pretty much everything except rap. I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if there's anything that I don't enjoy. I'm really picky with my country. It's got to be old outlaw, pre 1960s country. All right, new stuff. Save yeah, about my truck. Yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. Got to say that. You know, it raises a good question about Pennsylvania Dutch. You know, there's traditional Pennsylvania Dutch folk music out there. There's lots of songs. Chris and I would sometimes we have this little band. We call ourselves the Broken Spokes. We play some of those songs. Uh, those are always the ones we get the biggest tips from when we play those. Yeah, don't we? Yeah, you can play some. <laughs> yeah, right, well that too. But, you know, traditionally... The tips are, you need to do this better. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 exactly. You know, traditionally the Pennsylvania Dutch folk music was played on string instruments like uh, uh, the auto harp, which if you don't know what that is, you've got to Google it. It's this thing you hang on your, on your side and you strum it. It's got strings. It's a pretty sound. The lap dulcimer, mm -hmm. the hammer dulcimer, the guitar, the banjo, um, yeah, those types of instruments, string instruments. It wasn't the Pennsylvania Dutch weren't really known for their brass bands and things. Well, it came along later on, but you know, traditionally speaking, you know, banjos. That's a fun instrument to play. Yeah. Do you know what uh, what the difference between a banjo and an onion is? No. Nobody cries when you cut up a banjo. Oh. Hey. Oh, that's bad. bad. Do you know any other banjo jokes? Uh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Yeah. You know, you know how some instruments have pickups on them. So you, yeah, so you, so you can plug them in. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the best pickup to put on a banjo? A Ford F one hundred and fifty. Oh, aye, 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 aye. We apologize <laughs> to anyone out there that plays banjo. Hey, hey, what, what, the, what do a banjo and a hand grenade have in common? By the time you hear either one, it's too late. Don't you play banjo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm allowed to say that. Oh, yeah. I strum a little bit, too. Not like mummers strumming. Well, maybe a little bit. But anyway, yeah, those are the types of instruments that you found in the Pennsylvania Dutch folk music. And we did a lot of dances. We had a lot of our own type of, like, square dances and barn dances and what's called bow downing sometimes among the Pennsylvania Dutch. I can't really sing any of those songs for you right now. But, um, yeah, I mean, that type of music, old traditional folk music stuff that you could dance to or you actually understood what the song was about. So if, if you wanted to have a, a Dutch um, phrase or something to say what kind of music that is, would you say it's good? Good music? Yeah, good music. Good music. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nothing against other types of music. Like Chris said, we listen to everything, almost everything. So we like it all, but every now and then it's great to have some of that traditional Pennsylvania Dutch stuff. It reminds you of your roots. Mm -hmm. And that, I'm telling you, some of those songs they start playing, if you can't, if you sit still, there's something wrong with you. Yeah, your, your toes, foot doesn't get your stomping. foot's got to be stomping. Yeah, that's the way it is. That's what music's supposed to move you. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just sand. And that's, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't, no, I tried it.
That's a great question, Emily. Hey, you can search online and look up Pennsylvania Dutch folk music. That's a couple CDs and out there. And if you're real people. brave, search online look for Broken Spokes. Yeah, we have a couple YouTube videos of us doing uh, traditional Pennsylvania Dutch folk songs like Asia Do and uh, um, Highly High Low. Hey, Highly High Low. And, <laughs> awesome. and we wrote a couple of our own uh, to sound old fashioned because we that's what we like to do. Um, but yeah. If you come to the Kutztown Folk Festival, maybe you'll hear us play them live. And we do parties and bar mitzvahs, uh, weddings, yeah, you want to get us, we'll come play traditional Pennsylvania Dutch folk music at your gathering. We'll play anything you want. We'll play anything you want. That's right. And for the right price, we even go topless. <laughs> That's expensive. Yeah, most people then pay us to put our clothes yeah, back on. We don't like having to pay the psychology bills for Yeah, that's right. Audience. I don't think that's covered anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> No insurance. Great, great question, Emily. Listen to any kind of music, but go out and look for some traditional PA Dutch music. It'll get your toes a tapping, as we say. Toes a tapping. Toes well, a tapping. Well, you heard it from the Dutchman. Anything else you want to say, Doug? No, I like the banjo. I, I, despite your chokes, I like the banjo. But I don't admit that. Oh, I have a, I have a story quick before we go. So. So I started seeing this gorgeous young lady, and uh, I told my old man, I said, "Hey, I'm talking to this girl." And she, is she blind? No, no. Well, she said she likes the banjo, and I'm like, Dad, this girl said she a likes. A girl? Well, you didn't ask her. She just volunteered yeah. this information. I, I even had the banjo out, and I was playing for it. She was going wild. Oh, so you got the banjo, and I said, Pop, like. This girl likes a banjo, she could be the one. He's like, you've got to be suspicious of any girl that says she likes a banjo. First <laughs> off, what kind of a date was it that you decide you're sitting there in some romantic situation and your go-to is to reach for a banjo? I mean, you always got to have it ready. Did you at least have a candle burning? No, I had to. Well, you're sitting down, you're like, hey, honey, I want to show you something. You mean you got to... And you turn and you pull out a banjo? Well, did you ever see that Highlander movie from back when... Like, no. When he had a sword in his pocket. Like, yeah, a sword is yeah, deadly. It's like you, that, but you just pull a banjo out of everywhere. It's, and she, she didn't run away. She no, didn't scream. That's what I mean. Like you gotta wonder. Maybe she was. Maybe she was so shocked that there's that she didn't. <laughs> she couldn't react. And banjos are kind of paralyzing. You start playing and you can't move and you're stuck there for life. So you think she likes it? <laughs> I don't know. Or did she literally say? She said, "I like banjos." Son of a gun, you better keep her. Yeah, I don't know. That's, that, that's, that's like a rare species. Yeah, it's, there's only one of them. She's a unicorn, that's for sure. It's a unicorn. <laughs> All right. Wow. Wow. That's a good story. Yeah. All right, until next time, Mox Good. If you have a question, why you have to email us at busterpa at yahoo.com.